Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm unboxing for you a group swap. This is the Come What May Shaker Tag Swap, and this is really funny. So this comes to me from Love Pink Dragonflies. She is in Canada. The girl that I sent to is Paper Ventures, who is also in Canada. There are girls in this swap who are from all over the world and I both sent to and received from someone in Canada. So that's really nice. So she has made me this beautiful card here, which I'll read off camera. This is from Angela. She's a super talented paper crafter, as are the many other paper crafters in this swap. I'm gonna link everyone down below so that you can go and check everyone out. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> she has, oh, one, used a collection that I absolutely adore. Two, sent me a memory decks card, which is fantastic because I am just in the process of um, setting up a memory decks. So these are probably all of my shaker tags here. And she has, oh my God, Angela, <laughs> you are the best. Oh, I love it. This is amazing. She sent me a gorgeous shaker mix and uh, sequins. I can never get enough sequins and this is stunning and will match so many of the fun uh, collections that I work with. I'm so excited for that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to take everything out here. Oh, I don't know how pretty everything is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. So she has made, okay, I thought that these were the tags here, but it looks as though, this is gorgeous. It's so hard to not look at everything <laughs> as it's coming out. Um, I made my shaker tags all in pockets. I didn't make um, a tag swap out of it. Look at this gorgeous, oh, this is like, there's so many cute, fun things to look at. <laughs> Wow, these are great. Oh, I love these. So fun. And this is like the most beautiful shred. I love these colors of the pink, gold, and white. That is like, just so fun. That's, yeah, I love those colors. That's great. Okay, I'm going to take some pictures of everything before I open the, the packages so that, um, yeah, so that I have a, a photo of everything intact and then I'll be back. Okay, so let's move all this to the side and start with this, which is the main event. So you were supposed to make five different shaker tags. So let's see if she's got five on it. It feels like there's so many more than five. First, I want to start with this unbelievably gorgeous set of trims. This is amazing. I love each and every one of these. And part of me is going to want to <laughs> like take some of the individual ones off to use it. And part of me is just going to want to keep it all together because it's so pretty. I don't know if I can uh, dismantle it. <laughs> so, I mean, the nice thing is too that you can actually really super easily clip this off and then put it on a like a binder or something if I wanted to add it to one of my scrapbooks, but oh, this is all so pretty. So she has die cut, this is like a really sturdy tag. She's die cut this really fun shape and then she stitched around and put some little sequins in the pocket and this fun little star. I've never seen anything like this star that's really sparkly and cute. Okay, I'm trying to place all of the collections that she's worked with here. This paper in the back is very familiar. And I can't quite place which collection it's from. Anyway, um, so she's stitched along the love, put some little gems, and she's, she's got like a, a really sturdy plastic that she's sewn on top of like a chipboard, oh, do they all say to and from? They do. So she's created tags that I can use as gift tags to put on top of a present. What a smart idea. That is great, Angela. I So that just goes to say, 
if I did dismantle it and, and, and use this, I can reuse each piece individually. But honestly, it's so gorgeous, I kind of want to keep it together. So this is a really pretty bow. Now, I would suspect that she has made this bow because it's got that um, hand-done um, thread. She's spun that around each of those. And these are very sturdy tags and really fun little sequin mix in there. I wonder if it's the same sequin mix that she's included for me here. It might just be. Dreaming of flowers and sunshine. And again with one of those gorgeous flowers in the back. And very, very pretty stitching all around. And the to and from on the back. Such a clever idea. Really fun. There's a piece of tulle layered in amongst this acetate piece and these gems that are like clear, see-through. This one says smile. This I believe is from Willow Lane. So she's mixed collections because I recognize so many of these papers. They're all from Crate Paper in um, different lines and she's done a really good job at bringing them all together and creating these beautiful tags. They're very sturdy. Like, you can't really see on camera necessarily, but she has, I wouldn't be surprised if she either has two or three layers here. There's definitely two layers. So they have a really nice weight to them. And then she has die cut. So what she's done is she's die cut a a thick piece of material with this really neat die shape. I guess they're, well these two look like they're maybe nesting, um, out of different papers and cardboards and she's stamped to and from on the back and then she's decorated them beautifully with this gorgeous little shaker pocket on the front. Here we have a black swan. Very pretty. This butterfly on top of a ticket, and there is tulle underneath, and then this gorgeous frame that has like a gold sparkly um, embossing on it. Wow, Angela, beautiful. So that is really, really pretty. It's so interesting to see, because it was a, a shaker swap, it was so interesting to see like how everyone would interpret that because it wasn't necessarily meant to be a tag flip. And I considered doing a tag flip as well, but I wanted to, in mind, create um, different types of shakers and with different collections. So I ended up uh, making each tag stand alone. Okay, what, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is an incredible, unbelievable, <laughs> let's just pour it into this dish here. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. I absolutely, oh my gosh, I could use more charms. Um, it's one thing that I do not have a lot of. It's uh, something that's difficult to come by. Charms and sequins, so Angela has got it bang on with me. <laughs> She's figured out, and there's those stars that I said that I had never seen before. Oh my gosh, look, this is, I, how could I ever part with something so cute? It's adorable. I'm going to have to put that in. I am still working on my December daily. In fact, scratch that. I haven't even started my December daily. <laughs> so I have all the pictures and the journaling done. I just need, and the products that I'm going to work with, the Snowflake collection. Um, I just need to put it all together, which is most of the work. Normally, I would do that over the May long weekend. We have a um, scrapbook retreat that I take that project to. But it couldn't happen this year because um, no large gatherings were allowed to happen. We didn't get to go on our retreat. So now I'm going to actually have to create um, my album. And uh, I liked, oh my god, that bird. <laughs> These are just the cutest little charms ever, Angela. I am so grateful for this beautiful like shaker tag and the sequins and the trim and the charms you are the best 
simply awesome. And I have to talk about this because, like I was saying, I just bought a Heidi Swap memory decks and I was going to start creating my memory decks for it. And she has used one of my favorite collections right off the top. The Hey Girl comes from uh, Create Paper All Heart. And uh, she's got a little, so much fun layering, like all these different textures, the cardboard, the, the thread, the crate paper, the really interesting tool. So, and then again with this shaker off the back and then a paper clip on top and a ribbon, like just super great. And she stitched all around there. Okay, fun continues. What do we have in here? Oh, Angela. <laughs> I have received, oh my gosh, these are amazing. These flowers are just so beautiful. There's so many in here. I really appreciate the amount of time and attention it takes to make each and every one of these flowers. They are so pretty. And you can just look at them there. I love them so much. They're so special. Like, it's incredible. I make these rolled flowers that I just started to discover. I'm going to get one here to show you. So here's the ones that I've learned recently how to create. And I had to see seek out how to make them. <clears throat> I have a tutorial that I can link for you here. And the reason why I had to discover how to create these is because little flowers like this are so unbelievably amazing to put on projects. And I can't believe how many she has gifted me here. Like all the different colors and the gems in the middle. So this is a completely different type of flower. So it's so nice. Oh my God, I love this little one. It's, uh, it's so nice to receive these very pretty embellishments to be able to add to my projects because like flowers just add the perfect touch when you need to fill a little space. I'm going to have to look at each and every one of these closely and see if I can figure out like which collection they're coming from and <laughs> what paper she's used. But what a great little gift that she's given me. And in this little gift bag here, What's inside this? She's packed so many goodies. Oh, wow. Okay, let's move some of this over here. Bows. Another thing that is like super useful. And I don't have a bow die. She has made so many of them for me. All different sizes. Oh, and this is her butterflies. Yay. <laughs> I love how she makes her butterflies. So she uses two different pieces of paper and then she puts sparkles on them and she stitches them down the center and she leaves this like messy thread all throughout. And I just love them. They add so much fun and texture that is like, they're just so fun to work with. I'm so grateful that she sent all of this to me. Beautiful. And now not only has she sent me bows and a butterfly, but she's also sent me these flowers that are in this shape here. She really pulls together all sorts of collections and layers them on and then use all these fun little gems and sparkly bits. And then what is this gorgeous thing? Last little shaker pocket. Super fun. I love the feel and look of vellum so much. And then this is a good idea to put this nice little texture underneath here and she stitched it all right through. I just love how um, she leaves all of the ends and it, it's just super 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 cute. And then she's gifted me another little bow which actually looks quite nice on there. <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching. I will definitely link all the girls channels below and their Instagram accounts. You should be following along I also really appreciate the gifts that she's given me. I love the Flourish collection and these puffy stickers are great. I actually have been um, working with the Flourish collection and I'm all out of these puffy stickers and these rosettes. I can't get this brand because um, 
none of the stores nearby me carry those. So I'm really thankful for those as well. So thank you so much for watching. Check out all the other girls and everything that they have received. It'll be very exciting to see what um, everyone's interpretation is of the five shaker tags to gift. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. And as I leave you here with some close-ups, I also would like to take this time to encourage you to go by I Am Absolutely Alice's page on Instagram or on YouTube. She actually has a GoFundMe page set up right now. She's a lovely paper crafter and she's been stricken with a, a tragedy with her brother. And if you wanted to go and share some love to another fellow talented paper crafter, I'll leave that information down below.